Sup Gloomers! Today we have a wonderful introduction to Gloomhaven 2nd Edition. Cephalofair has given us the wonderful ability to show off how the new campaign starts, from no longer the Black Barrow, but now the wonderful Bandit Camp. We have an entirely new introduction, and we're speaking of introductions, we're going to have three wonderful players joining me. First off, we're going to start with Greg. Hey, Greg. Hey, thanks, Alice. It is, I mean this, I know we're all going to be doing a lot of joking, but I really mean this. It is actually an honor that you invited me as one of the three people to do this, so thank you very much. Well, that's because you're amazing. Thank you so much, Greg. And we also have wonderful Sam here. Thanks, Sam. Hey, hey, how's it going? Always wonderful. Thank you for also loved your little write-ups that you've done on the guides as well. You're awesome. And last but not least, we have the keeper of the FAQ, the famous and wonderful person, Bill. Hey, folks. Yeah, I'm Bill. Uh, usually people know me as Dwarf. I'm pretty much unavoidable just about everywhere, and I'm sorry about that. <laughs> he is but, uh, inevitable. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm Dwarf the Inevitable, and I'm looking forward to, uh, you know, showing Isaac how Bruce, Bruiser, Bruiser's really played today. <laughs> uh, that's that's very bold of you to say. I can't believe you think that you're better at the game than Isaac. Oh, I don't. I I don't. I just... Uh... I, I'm, I'm going to put that in my next email to him, so... Uh, <laughs> we actually have four wonderful classes. Our characters were clearly showing off, as Bill said, uh, the new Bruiser, who's going to be going a little bit more tanky. We'll be showing off some fun stuff there. I will be piloting uh, my boy, the Cragheart, uh, my first my first love of Gloomhaven, and finally revisiting that again. Uh, we also have the Tinkerer, which I am uh, actually a big fan of now, and... Well, I, I, I feel like we're going to just let him do his own thing, and you can watch that. And, of course, the new Spellweaver. So, super fan of this. Like, I think this is going to be an amazing group. But before we get into, like, hey, let's play some cards, I think we need to pick which cards we're going to do and buy some items. So, uh, let's start with the Spellweaver. If you want to go through what you're picking and what items uh, you're going to start with, let's uh, hear that thought process. Sure. So, I'm not going to go through every single card. These ones are already shown off in uh, the earlier Rage Badger video. Uh, but I got to cut three things to make room for my level one hand. Got a couple of easy cuts for sure. Ice Armor is a very good card if you're running in a smaller party uh, to block some damage. But we've got a tanky brute, we've got a Craig cart, we've got four people. So, I think Ice Armor is a pretty easy cut here. I'm also going to cut aid from the uh, ether. It no longer makes a summon for us uh, like it did in first edition, so that's not very interesting. It does not... Uh, the healing here could be good if we didn't have three other characters that are really good at healing, and I've got some heals on the bottom, so I think we're going to let that one go as well. My last cut is certainly the hardest. I'm going to try to keep Icy Blast around since it's a pretty big party. I think there's going to be a good chance to use it. So that means I got to cut uh, something else that's going to uh, be a loss action, most likely. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get rid of Flame Swell. The bottom action could be really good for us, but it's going to be difficult for me to get ice in this scenario. And the top is not that exciting like uh, with Frost Armor in a large party to get this extra damage. I'd rather just use my loss actions with big AOE losses. So for that reason, we're going to cut this out. This leaves me with three pretty quick cards, five cards a little bit on the slower end, but some good losses and a little bit of a chance to sling some elements around. Thank you, Sam. What items you got? Actually, I actually haven't even looked at the items, so that's going to be fun for me. So I've got 25 gold to select for my item. So for Spellweaver, there's really three things that I'm considering as my starting set. I could go for any of these options. I could also go for a stamina potion, but I'm going to decide I'm going to go with an element potion instead because I don't really have great ways to make nod loss elements right away. Getting one extra instance of fire or ice will be a really big deal. And then between the two of Scouting Lens and Simple Bow, I'm going to end up going with Simple Bow because not every enemy here is going to have uh, shield, and so I think I'm going to try to leverage the advantage over the pierce. But if I ever come back with more money, Scouting Lens would certainly be my next purchase, followed by probably a stamina potion. Sounds good. Thank you, Sam. All right, uh, Greg, do you want to talk about your Tinker picks? I am. So I'm just going to show you what I did not take. I already, I already made my selections. Um, uh, so I chose not to bring Volatile Concoction, even though I really, really like this card, and especially it's uh, good in a larger party. 
Um, it's a stamina. It's a re, it's a non-loss stamina potion plus a strength and for a, a, another character. Uh, and now we, the thing is, we only have one character here with a small hand size, um, but that character can get their loss cards back. So it's not quite as important in uh, this scenario. The strengthen is definitely very very good. Um, and the bottom actually isn't bad. I was never a huge fan of traps, but um, obviously the bottom, uh, the bottom here with this trap and then the, you know, the hook going at the top, that's a good combo with a you know, good early initiative. But I'm choosing not to bring those because for a lot of reasons. First of all, this room has a lot of stuff in it and just gum gumming up the works with another trap. Uh, I don't want to mess with my uh, allies' movement options. Um, and although the, the move to, loot to on the bottom is hilarious, uh, which would be really fun to go and uh, slurp up a bunch of money, um, there's other ways for me to loot and, and, and get stuff. I have good mobility with this class. One of my favorite things about the new Tinkerer is that the mobility has been increased. There's a lot more move threes and move fours. Um, and the last one I did not take, and this is a tough cut, was Disorienting Clash. Uh, I love both halves of this card, but the, my play style, no matter which class I pick, is almost always mobility. I want to pay, take, take things that are reusable, far moves, and you know if I can attack, I can attack, and obviously with the Tinker, I want to heal too. Um, the top of Disorienting Clash is hilariously awesome and is incredibly good for like a breach on the second or third room, but um, again, for this scenario, I want to make sure that I have plenty of mobility and attacking, and you'll see all of that as I play. Uh, in terms of items, let's go up here to the items. Um, since I'm the healer, I'm going to go ahead and take the Focusing Gem. Uh, it is, it's a tap ability, it's only a single hand item, which I think is, is pretty cool. And then um, I don't have a native jump, so I'm going to grab the uh, Winged Shoes. And those are going to be, that's going to be my 25 gold right there. Um, there are definitely, this is, I don't know that this is necessarily the optimal option. Uh, definitely a stamina potion, those are always strong. But I have a 12 card hand size, so uh, it doesn't do me quite as much good as it does for other, other people. Uh, so, and I think I'm not super, since we're all playtesters, I'm not super worried about us uh, failing this scenario. So just giving myself mobility and making sure I can keep uh, people topped off. We're going to have a, a tanky brute, a brute bruiser. So I want to make sure that when damage does get taken by people that I can, uh, I'm not going to say maximize it, but that plus one heal on the uh, focusing gem might not seem like a whole lot, but I tell you, it, it adds up, especially with the increased overall healing from Tinker. All right, uh, that's all for me. <clears throat> All right, so um, I haven't put that much thought into what I was going to take, but I clearly want Massive Boulder. Um, and I want, yeah, I'm going to be going more, a little bit more damage because I think that uh, Dwarf's Bruiser build, which I'll talk about in a second, is going to be, um, for the most part, taking a lot of the hits. Playing opposing, unstable, we always take. Earth and Cloud, we take. So. Uh, I think all these are basically easy picks, so we're going to take a look down here. Uh, I kind of want Petrify because I feel like the bottom will be good if I need to do a bottom attack, which is pretty great. Um, Rock Tunnel, I think, is probably a good cut. And that just means I have to pick one more, uh, one more card to really keep. I do like Avalanche. I think it gives me a nice bottom heal. Earthen Bulwark, I think, is probably not going to be as good if we're going to be blocking things off. So I think we can cut Earthen Bulwark, even though I really do like it. If we were playing on like high difficulties and having fewer people, I think that's one way we could actually really take advantage of that. But I do like the bottom as like a way to pop poison off of things if we're fighting like things that have poison on attack. But um, Heaving Swing, I think, also gives me the... Um, ability to set up pretty powerful attacks, although I'm not a big fan of the initiative on most of my attacks. I think that... where was Crushing? It was at least... that's Crater. Yeah, Crushing Grasp. 35 is like, not my best, but I think we're still gonna go for a Heaving Swing. And we'll cut the other three. I don't want to cut Avalanche, but I feel... Ah, should I take Avalanche? I like, the, I like this burst turns, but I never set it up the way I wanted to. I don't know. I, I feel like this I, is... If we didn't have a Tinker, I think the bottom heal would be a really awesome card to use in between. But right. because we do have a Tinkerer, and because our Bruiser is focusing on tank, I think we can get away with cutting it. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I thought. I like the heal, and I like that attack to set up when you get it right, but it just feels like it's probably not going to happen, so not feeling that. Um, I'm going to be taking the Weathered Boots, and... What? <laughs> yep. There's uh, another one. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and another one. 
Uh, <laughs> as much as I like stam potions, honestly, th there's just a lot of good options. I almost think I'm going to take a healing potion as a just in case. Even though I think our group's going to be fine, I feel like I'm probably going to have to get up and close a little bit more than the others, and I'm probably still going to take some hits. So we're going to go for that just as a safety net. I really love the new item balance in that in the original Gloomhaven, you'd pretty much always be getting a stamina potion. I feel like we just have four stamina right. potions here, and that's certainly not the case here. All of us are considering stamina potion, and all of us so far are saying, you know what? There's something else I need more, and we may get one eventually, but it's not a rush, not, not at any pace. Yeah. I, I, th I think once I, uh, like, if I was, like, leveling up and had more options, uh, I, I definitely would have picked a stamina potion, but I, I personally think that the crag card has such, like, I think the hand size plus the options, it's not, it doesn't net really feel mandatory at all. Yeah. No, and, and that's, you know, what I, what I find interesting about, about our thought processes and our, what we're saying here is that, like, um, because I don't know if everyone knows this, but the new stamina potions have been nerfed so you can only get back a level one card. So they're strongest early on. So, and then we're still passing them over, or at least I don't know what Bill's going to take, but you know, we're passing them over for other things yep. because they're only, they're still only 10 gold. And you can probably get that after a couple scenarios and grab one of those. Now you can't, you obviously can't use more than one bag item or carry more than one bag item until level three. But if you feel like, you know, in a future scenario, like that, um, one of the things that's cool about this new version of the game is that um, you are, it's, how do I say this? It's less of a inefficient thing to have more items with you than you can use. And my, my group never really did that. We only carried the number of items that we could actually carry at any given time and we would try to optimize. But now it's like, hey, I'll ha have a couple extra things in reserve just in case different scenarios give me different uh, uh, challenges. So anyway. It's following Frosthaven there. Like my banner sphere has three different helmets and I pick whatever's appropriate. <laughs> and I think I'm going to do the same here. Um, so I am playing the Bruiser and I have decided to uh, focus on a more tanky build. I know the saying in, uh, Gloomhaven uh, first edition is, uh, you know, Brute's not a tank and you have to really emphasize that, but I'd love to show off how the new Bruiser is kind of a tank if you think about it. So the cards that I've taken um, are a lot of the X cards. So that's leaving me with some, you know, kind of difficult decisions when it comes down to it. Um, mm -hmm. And I have narrowed my cuts down to, I'm um, cutting Sweeping Blow and Trample. Trample I would bring in if we had high shield enemies for sure. Uh, sweeping Blow really doesn't fit with where I am. Then for my last cut, I'm thinking about keeping Balance Measure. I could do the whole sacrilege of leaving Balance Measure at home, but uh, I'm not ready for that. But Leaping Cleave is also super good. Uh, when it comes down to it though, with a Crag Heart, a Tinkerer, and a Spell Weaver in the party, I do not think we're going to be wanting for, like, area effect damage. So I am leaning towards just keeping balance measure. I mean, you know. So if, I, if, I, real quick, <laughs> I don't want to, I'm not sure, I don't want to tell you how to play your class. I'm, do you have enough movement? I have, I have enough movement, yeah. I, okay, I trust you. I've played with you before yep. and I trust you. Yep, so I have... Uh, oh. It's a pretty short scenario. I think you can get away with a move four and a move three. I, I think I could too, but you know what? We'll try this. I was actually planning on doing a big old balanced measure move, but, you know, just because nobody does that. Elephant has deprived <laughs> the fans of this, of course. Yeah, but, uh, but, but that's fine. So we are taking the weather boots because as mentioned, mobility is pretty important. Uh, and then since those cost 15, that kind of limits my other options. Um, and I think that I'm going to go with a straight up healing potion. Um, Copycat. Right. What was that? Copycat. Yep. <laughs> um, it just seems uh, like the thing to do. Um, and I guess we'll see uh, where this goes. I I'm love a trendsetter. You. Yes, you are. I love the new Bruiser, so I just uh, can't wait. Well, I, the, I the think it's about, great, too. Go ahead. No, I think it's great, too. One of my favorite things about Bruiser when I was testing it is that, like, uh, and I didn't have this problem in Gloomhaven 1, but speaking, picking the starting hand for the Bruiser is one of the hardest it things is. I've ever done in this game. 
Because every single card is amazing. Like, it's, like, it's so hard to pick cuts. I, I am so glad you'll be able to cut some time down during rests because I'm going to have a heck of a time. <laughs> yep. So, all right. All right. So this is going to be the uh, first scenario of the new campaign. As I, as I said earlier, it's not the Black Barrow. So I guess without further ado, do we're playing on plus one, right? We are playing on plus one difficulty. That's okay. Great. Thank oh, you. Cool. All right. And uh, obviously, we see these bandits are not bandit guards anymore. They're bandit scouts, which yeah, I think just scout. they just that just makes more sense. So, um, what, are, what are we feeling about battle goals? Are we leaving those in, or are we leaving those out? Do we want battle goals? I I don't think we use battle goals this time. No We're battle goals for today. No battle goals. <laughs> just like in life, no goals. Yep. No <laughs> goals. Excellent. All right. Um. So, uh, first turn, um, I think we had a little bit of a strategic discussion, but I'd like to, uh, what was, what was in on that? I was getting stuff set up. Yeah. So, right. so in, in following in the, the, the spirit of the, what I can say, I can't say exactly what cards I'm going to use, but I see a pretty nice pattern where I think I can get some good immobilize off. I'm going to try to do it quick <laughs> before they move. And, uh, crag cart, this will give you a little bit of earth if you'd like it. So I can get, give you some earth. Oh, hell yeah. Thank you. I love earth. Cool. So I'm just going to go ahead All and right. that in. I'm going to do a pretty quick immobilize. I wonder what card that's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, have, I have another. Uh, this is kind of my standard opener for the Tinkerer, but um, we, mm -hmm. I, I will do something else if others recommend. But uh, my fastest initiative will give every all of my allies adjacent to me one shield. And then uh, I think it's a good idea with the shielded enemies to... I think poison's good, so I was going to poison sure. the closest elite guy. Uh, that's what I was going to do, but if someone has other plans, I can certainly change them. Is, is, uh, is there any way I can uh, swap spaces with uh, somebody? Uh, do you need to swap spaces with me because I am just doing a ranged attack this round? I am also doing ranged to, attacks. I do not want to mess up the whole immobilized plan. Yeah, just keep in mind can... these three will not be moving here. So right, uh, right. Unless they pull ranged attacks, which could happen. Which uh, we could happen. Um, yeah, so I am planning on going, like, reasonably late, um, and, uh, you know what? Why not? Um, it's not, I'm not going that late. I'm going as late as I can manage with the cards I got. But we're, uh, this is an easier scenario, and I kind of want to show things off, so. Um, okay. I'm gonna hit three of them, and possibly one of them twice. Alright, let's do it. I'll, I'll hit the start round buttons here. All right, so oh, we have Warding Strength and Spare Dagger for the Bruiser, Dirt Tornado and Petrify for the Cragheart. We have Flamethrower and Toxic Bolt for the Tinkerer, and Icy Blast and Impaling Eruption for the Spellweaver. Uh, Tinkerer, take us away. All right, well, as I said, I am going to give uh, all my adjacent allies shield one till the end of the round, so congratulations. Yay. Uh, and then I'm going to do the thing I said I was going to do. So I, I'm going to double infuse. We're going to get double infuse earth here. So uh, much earth. I, I know, right? And I'm going to attack this uh, elite bandit scout for two. And then there, it will, regardless of the result, it will be poison. So here we go. All right. Oh, check it out. So that's two damage with the shield plus uh, poison, which we're all smashing our context menus to do. But I got taken care of. I'm done. <laughs> all right. So that'll be me next. So I've got my impaling eruption lined up. So kind of hard to see this pattern sometimes so we can see that if we line it up here i can target all three of these scouts for an attack three that immobilizes on the elite scout the poison pretty much cancels out the shield here so that ends up being all right i have to immediately redo the math because it changes with a crit so three plus one for poison is four doubled is eight minus one shield is seven and uh we, we've just immediately killed someone. Okay. <laughs> All right. You are. Make Strong the start. Hell Let's yeah. Go. Okay. Uh, so. Attacks three here and here. Front guy. Uh, just one damage. That's okay. And back for four. I'm not going to complain about this in the slightest. No, you... <laughs> immobilize. Yeah, you... no. Immobilize. Spellweaver dabs. And then uh, what's this guy <laughs> doing? Quick attack. I'll just back up. We'll stay safe. Yeah. I'm not even going to complain about you killing my... Uh, spare dagger target uh okay so so it's me now and since i'm just kind of standing in back without anybody to throw something at i could hop up here to uh toss a knife um you know what 
all things considered, they're not doing very strong attacks. Yeah, you can and take one. yeah, I can definitely take that one. So I'm going to hop up there and hurl a spare dagger at that scout right there. Uh, no XP for that anymore, unfortunately. Very unfortunate. Plus, plus one, so that'll be uh, three damage straight up. And uh, no lost card yet. Definitely gonna miss that XP on Spare Dagger, but there's other ways to get experience now, that, so that's fine. Mm -hmm. I guess I could have focused on that other bandit scout, but you know. I think it's fine. I think we can, if we can boil down the elite very quickly, the elites hit a lot harder than the basic ones. So I think it's they impressive. really, really do. Yep. Of course. All right, uh, bandit scouts. Who wants to be monster controller? I'll run the monsters. All right, thank so, you, Sam. Yeah. Sam Sam's Bo fast. Both types of scouts have a move three. They've pulled plus one movement this round, so that'll be a total move of four. Of course, these two are immobilized, so they won't bother. This one moves up here, gets in range of the bruiser, and they're going to make an attack from minus one, so that's an attack three for the bruiser. That's a minus one from the card is okay. two, and you've still got Tinkerer's shield as well. I do, so I only take one. Okay, the... so, just want to, so sorry to interrupt. Oh, you're fine. I want to point out that the shield, adjacent shield, is is not an aura. Right? He does right, not have to be standing next to the field one. I just, I just want to say that because this is, I know we know right. this, but for the viewers might not know. It's, um, it's not, you know, yeah. I guess granted him shield one and you carry it with him. It's a, it's uh, a great change because they used to have to stay next to the Tinker, mm -hmm. but now you can run away, still get stuff, and the shield stays with you. That, that's hugely significant. I literally forgot to mention those uh, effects on the video. So I think that's a huge thing to bring up. Thank you for mentioning that. The other scout has four movement as well. They're going to avoid this trap, so they'll go one, two, three, four, and not quite get in range. Perfect. All right. This would be another another great impaling eruption if I could just stand off the map. But but it also could be a dirt tornado. All right. Yeah, that's, that's true. There's, there's some good here. If only, if only you were going to do that. Oh, wait. Uh, I'm going to attack... I think it's two on all of them. Yeah, attack two on... Not all of them, the front three. So attack... We're going to start with... Uh, num um, bandit two. Oh, with his shield. I think that's nothing. That's unfortunate. And the guy behind him, uh, two damage. And then the normal, uh, two damage. Excellent. And then we're going to try to apply some extra pressure on this guy uh, with a oh. three damage on him with from uh, Petrify. Nice. And I get an experience and muddle all of them. And I think so that's two additional damage needs to go through on this guy. Thank you. And that's the end of the first round. All right. Excellent. I think that was uh, incredibly good. I that was very worried that we were going to embarrass ourselves. And it looks like we're doing just fine. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. We are doing just fine. And I'm actually seeing uh, what are these traps right now? Are they four or five? Four damage four. traps. Four. Four damage, because I can get up here and, like, guarantee kill this... Well, can I? No. I'm thinking about my cards wrong. Do I have any quick kills? It doesn't look like it. Okay. I think right. what I'm going to do is go, uh, go slowly and line up a, a piercing attack, okay. and that'll give me uh, an mm -hmm. element for the following round. That's going to be my I am going pretty fast. I'm going to follow through with my uh, tanking promise. Um, how how and... fast are you going? Like, as fast as you can? You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. <laughs> I am going uh, at a reasonably fast initiative, but uh, I know that you can go faster. Than me. Okay. But I am hoping to stand right here. Oh, okay. Um... That works. I think I'll go before you. You you can certainly do that if you wish. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just uh, I want to see if I can undercut their one thing if they draw. No, they don't have that anymore. But yeah, uh, I'm going to toss in a range attack and hopefully um, splash some damage around. Yeah, this is a good time for that. That's for sure. Yeah, I'm going to go fast and I'm just going to flexibly hurt something. Okay, I'm in. I'm sorry. I like it. Let's do it. I like it too. All right. Oh yeah, let's go. Oh, that's awesome. 
Let's go. Oh, and they're just doing nothing special. Nothing special. Nothing special, guys. Um, okay, so... Do you want to run through the cards? Uh, oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you for the reminder. I literally lost an uh, idea of that. So we've got Shield Bash and Get Over Here for the Bruiser. Unstable Upheaval and Massive Boulder for the Crag Heart. We have a Nat Shooter and Potent Potables for the Tinkerer. And Reviving Aether and Ember Frost for the Spell Weaver. All right. Um, you needed this spot then? I need I need that spot, but yeah. I also would kind of like them to attack me. But that's okay. I think I think it'll be fine. Why you're, yeah, you're fine. But if you kill them, then they're not attacking. I, I'm not. Uh... <laughs> yeah, you're good. You're good. You do your thing. You're doing yeah. great. Yeah. The the other alternative. So I can attack this one or this one. It's gonna splash damage regardless. I think this one is probably sure, the yeah. play because this guy will only need three more damage then heck yeah totally all right uh two damage to this guy and one damage to all the others oh my thing didn't click through thank you i i infuse earth and i think that's my turn okay Good uh, i'm going to stay true to my promise i'm using the bottom of shield bash to move over here and give myself a shield one for the round. Mm -hmm. Then I am going to yoink this bandit scout right there uh, into that trap right next to me and muddle him with get over here. Which uh, I think it has a new name now, now that I think about it. Get over here does? I that got up. Yeah, I don't think that yeah, got... Yeah, that, that one was renamed. I don't remember what. I'll look it up real fast. Right. Um, I think that is now called Provoking Roar. Then what's Provoking Roar? Provoking um, Roar is a uh, name. Get Over Here is now called Provoking Roar. Provoking Roar is now called Fearsome Taunt. Fearsome uh, Taunt. So, yep, so the uh, assets we're using are not completely updated. But, okay, now I have two active effects. Um, shield 1 and Retaliate 2 for the round. And I gain an XP the first time uh, I retaliate. So I am done and hopefully... Uh, these guys are going to break on me a little bit. Yeah, and just to clarify here, all of the development is done here. So none of the actual abilities on the cards are going to change. All of the damage, right. the XP, everything that's going on, that's all locked in. There's going to be some name changes and some art changes, but everything else, right. what, you, what you're seeing is what you're getting with this game. It is, it is a great game. Wig. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's my turn. So I have a question for the group. Uh, yeah. If I get lucky, if I get lucky attacking the elite, I might be able to kill it. But what the sure. easier kill would be to uh, this just? I have a better chance of killing this non-elite, and I'm a big fan of killing the non-elites before the elites. I know not everyone agrees with me, but um, I could just move here and uh, actually, one. I could even move here, but I'm not going to do that because I'd rather not get hit. Yeah, I'm just going to move here. But I was one of the group's opinion if they. I'm sure. That. I've got a piercing yeah. attack this round, so I think going on the normal makes perfect sense. Okay, then I'm going to hit the non elite. So I'm going to use the bottom of this. Obviously, the immobilize doesn't work on, on my allies, so I'm just going to move one and use the top of this. And these things are, these guys, if this thing survives, it's going to be like triple model or something, whatever happened. Man. All right. <laughs> so, three on the non elite number one person is. That's here. enough. Nicely done. All right, well, that's my turn. I'm done. Okay, so then we've got some scouts. They're doing nothing special, so that's just a move three and then a base attack. Both elites have a base attack of four. This one goes on the Craigheart, who acted earlier this round. The muddle is doing good work here. Though, uh, so that will, oh, yeah, you're right. That one goes first. You're right. Sorry. That will end up being... Yep, so that'll be the full four damage onto Craigheart. Muddle's gone. The other elite onto the Bruiser. Now, no matter what, they're going to die to retaliate, but they do get to do a little bit of damage first. They do. Good oh, I muddle. Love that muddle. Love that muddle. So just the four damage before they drop dead. And then, for better or for worse, this guy actually gets to take the hole, and they'll also hit Bruiser, dealing the damage, but then taking some retaliate. So that. Oh wait, be... hold it! I uh, took one less because I do have a shield. Of course. Yeah, shield, correct. So this is an attack three down to two before your shield. So one, and two more retaliate damage. Two more retaliate. All right, and I get an XP for that. Excellent. Which uh, I will remember to track. Okay. So, yeah, we're in really good shape here. I have a piercing attack two that makes fire. So this seems like the right time to use my simple bow. Because if I pull a plus one in this attack, I kill the elite. We're going to give that a shot. 
Uh, nice. So let's let's try that on for some. Prophecy, prophecy. Oh, nope, didn't work. Yeah. All right, that's okay. So what I'm gonna do instead then? I've made some fire, and I've got a way to use that for wound next turn. So I I'm have gonna... a hundred percent kill on the elite next turn. I can just bully him straight into this trap. Then we're just gonna assume they're gonna be dead, and I'm going to uh, yeah. go right to here. Old. That... Old. Old, like a barbecue sauce. Cool. Old oh wait, no! If you're there, I can't push him there. Sam. Uh, 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 <laughs> but, but okay, I'll get one point. That's fine. Yeah, get that bag, Queen King. Anything I was, else? I was gonna get all Queen. of the points, but decided that being obtusely greedy is probably not what we're looking for in this video. So. <laughs> I love being what? obtusely greedy. That is actually how you're supposed to play. No, you may not like it. Loot. I was going to go here and literally loot every coin, but. I guess I cannot uh, do that. You're welcome. Well, now you're we all gonna collectively loot everything and not leave everything. Oh, it'll it'll get got. It will get. Got. Oh yeah, it will. Okay. Um, this turn. Were you were you using this earth this turn? Uh, I don't have to. Are you? Do you want it? If you do not want it, I can take it. It probably doesn't matter, but um, I, can use it. Nice. I could just uh, heal myself and start moving to the next door. That sounds great. I'm gonna go my fastest initiative. I'm gonna be healing this turn because people need healing. Uh, I you love know, that. You know, if you're if, if if you're healing and you guys, do you guys think the things are gonna die? I think they're definitely dead. I, I firmly believe. believe it. It. Okay. Yeah, um, I firmly believe it. I'm already in get to the next room mode. I, yep. I, I'm in get to the next room mode. I'm setting up a permanent effect, semi permanent effect. All right, then I'm going to pick a larger move for my other initiative. Okay, I, I think we're all in. All right, let's run the cards down. Yep. All right. right. So, uh, Brood is doing uh, fearsome... fearsome Taunt and Leaping Cleave. I'm doing Backup Ammunition and Crushing, gr crushing Grasp. Uh, Tinky's doing Restorative Mist and Ink Bomb. And Spellweaver's doing Flame Strike and Arcane Bolt. Take us away, Bruiser. All right, so we're doing an attack three. This guy probably dies, but just in case, uh, he could go into the trap. Minus one is still good enough, so he's going to die right there. Oh, then I guess I'll just <laughs> awesome. hop over wait, there. Wait, wait, wait. And... You can't stand there. You can't stand there. I yeah, just can. did. <laughs> just did. All right, so yeah, um, I'm done. Okay, um... I have two teammates that are almost equally healed, but I feel like with the the tank, the tanky bruiser that didn't tank up on the first round, although I'm not arguing with that, I think the spray dagger was the right call. Um, yep. With you not having armor uh, and our ranged attacker, uh, Kragheart, probably not needing it as much, I'm going to heal you, Brute, for four, but I'm gonna use my cool gem that I bought, and I'm gonna tap that, so it's gonna be, turn the heal four into a heal five. So I heal Wow! I know, right? Wow! I know, right? Tinker's good now, right? Please, please All don't right. say Tinker is good. Uh, that will upset some people. Um, if the Tinker is good, so I'm gonna uh... say that. I'm gonna say that. Uh, and then I'm gonna go <laughs> one, two, three. I'm actually gonna let's see here. I'm not gonna get hit because the Bandit Scout's going to probably be dead. So me. Yeah, I'm gonna. They're... Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm just go ahead and just hang out right there, and I'll be. They're dead. quite it, guaranteed it, dead. Things left quite, to go I, very I'm... wrong. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're gonna die, but yeah. Okay, uh, so I think what I'm gonna do, I'm trying to decide how greedy I wanna be here. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for uh, the Arcane Bolt hit. So this is gonna be using up, doesn't matter which element, I'll take the Earth, uh, making an attack four, get my XP, and pulling on the Scout at disadvantage. Yep, that's enough for Good enough. So we'll get the money. Yeah! All right. Good. Thank you for looting. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, Craig. So we're just going to do a standard move. Uh, backup ammunition is in play. I'm using boots so I can get up to here. I love that card. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to be getting closer to the door next round. Yeah, I think it's a pretty straightforward movement. Mm -hmm. So I could do move, long rest, and then be ready to go in the door in three turns if you go in earlier. I'll probably be resting anyway. I want my boat back. 
<laughs> do we, do uh, we actually, that's a good question. Do we actually want to do that? Because, like, do we want to go three turns and, and then rest and then I, breach? I, I, I don't think we do, because I don't think, apart from focus, well, yeah, I guess two of you have used uh, tapped items. I don't care. I'm going to be, I'm fine with short resting here, because mm -hmm. I'm at full health. Um, I'm got all my items. So that um, actually lines up nicely, because I, I do one turn this turn, and then next turn you act while I rest. And then you short that rest, works. and we're synced up perfectly. So we, if we well, plan that to open the, room, the door, not this turn or the next turn, but the turn after, then I think that lines up beautifully. So, okay. yeah, I could even yeah. use my boots to get to here um, this round with... Um, yeah. I, I guess that will end up working out pretty well, because then I have a solid turn next round that will... Uh, I, I'm just gonna... I, I think I'm just gonna heal myself and get closer to the door. Uh, I have the ability to, to what? You will not need to. I will heal you this turn. I'm healing myself for the earth. Okay, <laughs> then I don't know what I'm doing this turn. Then. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> I mean, we're just kind of sauntering towards the door. I, I, I'm also legitimate, legitimate plan. Someone t breaks this trap so we have more room near the doorway, and then you heal off the trap damage. Oh yeah, that's... um, you know. Could I do that this round? Yeah, I kind of want. I can't go very quickly. Though. I would be happy I, to do it, but I'd be going. Um, you know what? I can. I can do that, but then I don't have uh, near as good a movement for next round. No. But um... Tinker, can you just break the trap and heal yourself? Yeah, I can do that. Easy. Okay. Easy. Easy peasy. Thank you for cutting through that nonsense. I'm flexible now. I'm Woo! better than I used to be. I thought you were old. I'm, I'm, yes, but I'm still I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. All right, starting up the round. All right. Run down the cards. All right. All right, we have Overwhelming Assault and Eye for an Eye for the Bruiser. We have the Rumbling Advance and Heaving Swing for the Crag Herd. We have the Harmless Contraption, I'm going to stop doing that, and Reinvigorating Elixir for the Elixir for the Tinker. And of course, we have Fire Orbs and Frost Strike for the Spell Weaver. See, I feel left out. I don't have a card with an H in it. Yeah. I know. Disaster. I you top just... myself to full health and infuse earth. You can just be French. You'd be like, hot strike. Fire I'm tapping, tapping my weathered boots going up here and infusing wind. I almost thought you said Cap'n for a second. Yeah. No. <laughs> I, I got shield and retaliate if anything leaps out of the darkness and attacks me, but I think we're okay. Ah. <laughs> uh... This seems great. I'm over here. Clumping up. Very cool. We are a joyous clump. Yes, it is good times. Um, I guess it's Actually, wait. If you can move all the way back to here, I might just take the trap and you heal me if that works. Then everyone wins. You do whatever you want, because I can either run through the trap or yep. I can jump over it. I I'll, I'll, I'll go in the trap. This is a slightly better spot for me, and then you can just heal okay. it right off. All right, well, then that's what I'll do. I'll heal you back up before, and I, then I don't need to jump. I can save my boots for... The later rounds when all those jumps that I need. So there we go. Okay, we're done. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Well, this I is... only have two cards left, so those are the ones I'm using. This um, is my longest turn. This should, is some textbook haven. Should I kick the door, or are we waiting? If we go one um, more round, I'll be nice and rested. I am not going super fast because I'm doing my air combo this round. Um, oh, are we are we going in? Is that the plan? I'm going in. Uh, or do you uh, need to... I mean, I was going to long rest, but it's not that big a deal. I don't need the bow that bad. Short resting. Short, it's resting. short resting. It's short rest. I think we can it's have a bunch either. of... Oh no, short resting. <laughs> I, I, oh no. <laughs> okay, it's okay, it's okay. One damage. Yeah. Um, I, I think we can handle the hubris on uh, this scenario. Uh, how, how early are you kicking open the door? On a scale of red to violet. Um, <laughs> I am uh, I'm going uh, some kind of reasonable speed limit in a town. I, I said a color, not... I, I, hold on, a reasonable speed limit? Are we talking about like, uh, like Toledo? I'm not... I'm not being more specific than that. Okay. You know what I do when I, I have air. 
I mean, I hope... If oh, right. right. Yeah, yeah, I know what you do when you have air. Yeah, that's a good idea. I, I cannot go particularly Hey, early. should I be pushing like, enemies away or immobilizing enemies? Which one do people feel more spicy about? Pushing. Yeah, either one. I... I I'm good either you way. You know what? I'm How about I in. ad hoc it? I'll, I'm going to play both. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be running in somewhere and uh, probably opening myself up to more attacks than I should be taking. So Crack and I knocks open. Shield. I'm going to get you an extra shield for this turn, and then next turn I'll be raring to go. Oh, okay. Thank you. You're so nice. I'm going to just take these two cards, and if I can do something with them, yeah. I can... Mm. If, I if you, you have to open the door, open the door. It's fine. I'll figure something out. No, I'll, I'll be fine. Okay, whatever. I'm just put the two cards in. I don't want to take. I love this. Let's see it. Because like, just bombs away. Oh, all right, so. <laughs> Tinkerer, rush it in! <laughs> Yay! Bold Tinkerer. All right, uh, the Bruiser has Skewer and Crab and Go. We have Crater and Earthen Clod from the Cragheart. We have Jet Propulsion and Enhancement Field from the Not Upside Down Drifter. And then we have Ember Frost and Flame Strike from the Spellweaver. Go uh, for it, Tinkerer! Spell well, well, first off, go, go for it, Spellweaver. Yeah. Well, I was going to give my shield to the Bruiser, but do we think the Tinkerer needs it? I think we'll be okay. <laughs> I, think uh, it, I think it's correct to put it on the Bruiser still. I yeah, think it, it probably is. All right, I see, one, one shield goes to the Bruiser. I'll make some ice. And I'm going to strengthen myself. The loot one doesn't do anything, but next round, I will be all set. Sounds good. Loss. All right. I knew this was going to happen. I knew I was going to end up going faster than you. But, like, my my bottom action here on this uh, on uh, Enhancement Field is adding, giving plus one uh, all attacks this round to Jason's allies, which is only one person. Uh, I think I'm still going to do that, though, because, again, this is not an aura. So well, if I... Well, that, that one is an aura. That one is, oh, yes. Okay. And how do we know the difference? Uh, so the there's group. Grant and you and all gain. So this just says you and all adjacent allies gain. But if you said Grant, yeah. blah. Okay. Thank you for saying that, because I, I wanted to make sure that the, the viewers knew how to interpret the new... Right, right, I right, right, right. One point where used to, I, th I don't know if it's... If I'm misremembering, or if this has been like one of the expansions, but I think... Uh, at one point, the card actually said like aura. They were labeled like aura, or maybe that was a different something else. But um, so anyway, I think that um, everybody just referred to them as auras. Yeah. Uh, so this is. I see, and I don't even know what to do now because I really should not open that door. Um, okay, then. Then no, it's, it's, it's fine. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and just play the um, enhancement field because depending on how things work out, people are still yeah. gonna move. Oh, I'll definitely get value out of that. I'm happy about that. No, okay, well, there you go. Then that's, that's yeah, what I want yeah. to do. There's no, there's no targets for me to attack, so I will forego the top action okay. and be done. So oh, this well, is well another... that's not the... No, no, he's using the bottom. Ah, understood. That right, is useless for me, then. Oh, okay. Well, uh, well, depending yeah. on positioning, I might use get able to use it twice. So first, we're going to see what the bruiser does. All right, so I have a move four. We're starting with that. Hell yeah, we are. Okay, so I'm here. Oh, oh dear. Okay. Oh, my <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? Then I gotta, well, we gotta flip cards for these. That's pretty snazzy. Okay, so now we know what they're gonna do. Oh, boy, yeah, okay. How peppered am I gonna be here? Oh, dear. Yeah, yeah that's, you may wanna. You, you so may, well, you're gonna feel some salt, because you're gonna. Well, okay. the. The scouts are only moving two this round, so you're actually clear from all three of these. It's only the archers and the one close scout that you're dealing with here. So yeah. the archers, we have... You've, you've got your shield, so this is basically one, two, three damage, four, five, six damage. I think you're fine. I don't have a shield. I gave you a shield. Oh, yeah, you did. Okay, yeah. yeah I think, you I think know you're what? fine. I think we're fine. We have a tinkerer. We have a crag heart. I'm, I'm going to stay here. I'm going to consume the wind. Uh, I what, am what going flavor to is it? <laughs> uh, dealer's choice, and we're gonna do Fried chicken. an attack four pierce one on both these guys. The pierce is relevant for the elite, so let's cross our fingers. Plus zero, good nice. enough. Four damage. Four damage to him. Yeah, good luck with that. And plus um, two. Plus two. I'm and, feeling it. Oh, okay. Oh no. It's just three for three for that archer. But all right, and I will stand here and uh, not tank particularly well. I'm short resting at the end of this round. Delicious. All right, 
So we're back to the archers here who are just doing some attack twos. They need four range. They've all got it. There's just three attack twos back to back onto the bruiser. They've got yep, the shield one. With the shield, that is super clutch. Thank you for uh -huh. that. So no damage. Nothing. No damage. Nothing. And then two damage goes through. We're happy with that. I am super happy with that. That's beautiful. We act with credit card. Uh, all right. Um, so we have two attack threes and push, or two. I think because mm, I think we do the attack threes because they do more damage. Alternatively, I can reach at the bandits, but we don't have much space to do with anyway. So mm -hmm. it's not worth it to immobilize the archers because they're just going to shoot anyway. And right. the bandits, even if they get into place, they're going to step on a trap. So I feel like we jump up here and do two attack fours. I think the better, oh. the, the extra damage is more important here. I strongly yep. agree. Okay, yeah. so we eat the earth and, uh, excuse me, earth, get an experience because this campaign is going to go a long way. And we're going to use the bottom of earth and cloud <laughs> to move up there. And we're going to do an attack four. Let's first start on that uh, injured elite. I think you now let's we're going to we're going to hit the archer. So the wounded archer uh, for five. We, I should have said that. No, no, that was fine. No, that's yeah. good. Um, and do we want to go? Should I try to finish this guy off? Yeah. I think well, this yeah. Guy's good. yeah. Um, so three damage to him after a shield. Good. Uh, thank you okay. for the aura that uh, gave me some fun certainty. Hey, I, I added yeah. value. And you, now you did. the that was huge. Yep. Oh, and that that um my my, my thing moves over. All right, go ahead. So now it's the scouts going. So the scouts, they've got just two movement this turn, which means most of them are running forward like so. Uh, only one scout is in range to pummel the bruiser. It's a big attack, though. It's an attack five into the I'm shield. not happy with that. Yep. So five, Spirit. four damage goes. Four damage. Could have gone right. way worse. Well, that's okay. That could have gone way worse. And it's okay, because I can uh, tank up here again and make things happen. One of the changes that I really like here is that they switched over the bandit scouts over from bandit guards as they were in the original game. I've short rested. Uh, short resting. I am losing the shield card I was going to use this round. Well, that's OK. I have. Is it worth the one damage to I'll probably take more than one damage by not having that card this round. Mm -hmm. Can anybody throw? I have uh, a healing potion for myself. Oh, my cat just jumped up on my computer. Okay. Uh, <laughs> restart screen. We still have start over. <laughs> okay, so instead, well, that's another one I didn't want to lose, but it's okay. It's always the way. Uh, I'm going very slowly here because that's all I can do, and I am doing a nice couple of hits. Okay, I am doing quite a bit of tanking. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm going. going to go I, I am uh, going to machine gun this the crap out of him. All right, starting okay, out the round. excellent. Yeah, I only have two cards, and I'm gonna. All I can do is I don't have any heals this round, but I'm gonna stun one of the elites. Lovely. Ooh, so. the archers are doing attack plus ones. Great. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's run it down. Oh. Oh yes, oh. let's let's do the run down. Thank you. I, I I'm so glad you remember. We have. Uh, provoke what's this fearsome taunt an eye for an eye hey uh, that's very defensive sir uh, for yes, the bruiser earthen clod and massive boulder I'm making adding H's now for the crag heart <laughs> uh, stun shot and um, gas canister for the tinkerer reviving ether and hey everyone's favorite card fire orbs for the spell weaver <laughs> I okay. love the fire orbs yes it's, it's the time <laughs> it's, it it's is time alright so, uh, Bruiser, take us away. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I'm putting up the bottom of Provoking Roar, uh, which mostly gives me a shield one, uh, and if they attack an adjacent ally, whatever. Uh, also, I'm putting up Eye for an Eye, which has been enhanced now. I like it way better. Uh, shield yes. one, retaliate one. So I have shield two, retaliate one. I am also going to use my healing potion before I start getting poisoned. So, giving myself... Three I was gonna say, points it, it, um, I'm just asking a question here. Would it be a? Would it be a? Well, I guess you need the shield. The shield. Too. I, okay. I, I think I, you could do the other two because you could potentially I, kill that one elite and then heal yourself. 
I, I could, but I also like him. I, he's a good target. Hey, hey, and uh, also, I hope you don't mind. Do you mind if I did a damage to you, Dwarf? <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I, it, 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 it's fine. I expect it will pay off in the long run, especially if somebody can toss me a heal this round. Because, yeah, I mean, I see what you're saying, Greg, where I could heal myself and then provoking Roar uh, this guy away. Um, He'd probably kill him. And, and if he doesn't kill him, he pushes him. But yeah, I, I see what you're saying. If but, you don't want to... I'm going to get peppered by archers. I, th no, I think you're right. Oh, the right you're right. No, 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 you're right. You are right. Because I forgot the, I forgot the archers are attacking with plus one. No, yeah, yeah. The archers the are... The I'm going to yeah. try to see what I could do to the archers. Okay, well, good. If you can do something to them, that's welcome. But I'm as defensive as I can be right now. Right. Sounds and, good. Uh, All right. And hopefully so, we tease one of these scouts into stepping onto a trap. So, yeah, that's we'll the thing I was going to do, too, is because I can stun either of the elites. Uh, don't don't stun don't stun one? the two health one. Yeah, one of oh. them's dead. The, the, two, the two health die guy, I don't think, can survive. I, okay. I don't think it's going to end up making a difference here. Uh, I'll tell you that since I'm, I'm going into the room with a... Uh, with the, 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 the old but gold uh, fire orbs, it's probable that I'm not hitting this one. So maybe this is the one to stun since it'll be yeah, alive. That's what I was gonna do yep, okay, that, so that sounds really good. Not attack, stun, but it is also still non loss and it's still very, very good. It makes me very happy. And then I have a move four on the bottom, but I don't really feel like going into that room right now. So I am just going <laughs> to chill right here and be done. All right. So, um,. We're gonna start off with um, fun, fun, splashy time. I'm gonna hit both of these guys up front with massive boulder. Let's start with the one that isn't stunned. Uh, three damage to it. That's enough for it. Yeah. Yep, and yeah. Bruiser takes and, one and damage. Oh, you already did no. there. Dang. All right, next, this guy takes an attack three. Null, but no. these guys in the back take one damage. Unfortunate. Dang. You got it. And. Let me look at the language on one second. I also create earth, uh, obstacle, or objective. Okay. Uh, attack four on this archer in the back. Nice. So uh, only three damage. Nice. Okay. And um, attack four on this one in the back as well. Four damage. Cool. Yeah. Jim, I could go faster. I could finish them off. That's okay. They're still sadly alive, uh, but that one, is okay. Two, one, two, three. And that's my turn. I tried. I think I did a decent bit of damage. I'm happy with I it. You did. All right, so the archers and then the scouts. Archers are doing some big attacks. Attack three attacks. onto okay. the bruiser. But two shields. Two uh, shields. So that is... Oh, uh, no. oh, no! Three damage goes through. And then two damage you goes are... through. You are kidding me, so I'm losing a card here. You're losing a card. Oh, that is... Sucks. That's bogus. And then we've got two scout attacks. Oh. This is a four and then a three, both of which are going to have... Uh, with a poison on the first one. So basically two fours, and you'll be poisoned okay. at the end. Okay, so day. I put up two shields and I'm still getting killed. Probably. Yeah, that's 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 brutal. It does. Yeah, brutal. <laughs> brutal. Oh. All right, so you're lucky the first one just does one damage after your shields. Okay. Uh, the second one, you do lose another card. The second one, I lose another card. Well, at least I'm keeping it even. Um, I'll tell you. Yeah, I'll figure that out in just a second. I'm not sure. Oh, that's that's brutal, yeah. Okay. It is. So I've got two options for where I can drop my fire orbs. I can either go to here and oh, get wait. all three. Oh, sorry. No, oh, sorry. No, I didn't get to retaliate because they were doing rage. Sorry. Yes. I'm yeah, you're good. good. You get in there. So I can go to here and I can hit all three of these with advantage. That's pretty much guaranteed to archer kills. And this guy has a bad day. Uh, or I can go here, which is a bit safer for me. Uh, but I can't actually reach the archers from here. So it'd just be on these guards. Uh, I, I like think the, the archers. archers. I yeah. like the going on the archers option. All right. Yeah. All right. So I will need some, some help next turn, most likely. But I believe in yeah. us. Uh, I have let's faith. Hit, let's hit all three non-shielded enemies. We'll do I mean, archer, archer, and then scout. 
I don't know if you're paying attention, but I'm I'm having problems here. You are. Man. <laughs> hey, but we're I short rest. Maybe I have to short rest. Maybe that that's the answer is I short rest. Oh, yeah, I have to short rest. Yeah, totally. Uh, all right. So this archer is dead. Nice. This archer is, is dead. dead. Yeah. This scout. Let's see. Beautiful. More damage. Very good. Very good. Plus some fire. We've done all the right things. Uh, no, we haven't. Uh, <laughs> I've done all the right things. Yeah, you're, you're fine. <laughs> okay. All right, let's run. Okay, so... Um, What's the best more way? or less, at uh, this point, I need to do some heal, some uh, self-care. Um, I'm sorry. I have to, I, yeah, that's a good card. I don't want to lose flamethrower, but I'm going to lose it. Um, okay, go um, please do not be offended if I am kind of getting out of dodge a little bit here. I, I, I am not offended. I'm going to tap tech two of them. I'm going pretty early. Um, okay. I have to short rest. If I if I take two hits here, I die. So I'm short resting. So I'm going um, pretty late. So... Um, I'm going pretty late. All right, yeah, I'm going to go as fast as I can. I'm going to hit all three of them. Sounds um, good. And I... Oh, look, they did a tinkerer formation for you. Yeah, I know. That's why I said I'm going to do the thing. Yeah, you know yeah. What? Do the thing. Do the thing. Do the thing. Um, I know you're all going to love this. It's going to be top tier 10 out of 10. I, um, think, I think I'm going to... Sorry, go ahead. Pro Gamer Moves oh, incoming. I'm gonna do a pretty pretty quick revive since we're close to the end of the scenario. I'm gonna do both of these. I don't care. Okay, I'm in. Let's okay. do it. Lining it up. All right. All right. So the Bruiser has overwhelming assault and grab and go. The Kragart has unstable upheaval and crater. They're doing range. The um, Tinker has net shooter and ink bomb. Hey, both of those work. And the yeah. Spellweaver has arcane bolt and reviving ether. Uh, me, take it away. Um, you're so you're blasting these, right? Yeah. So I'm, I'm instead going to ignore the. I was going to try to finish off the normal, but I have a feeling you're going to. So I'm going to try to punish the other guys for existing. Yeah. yeah do that. Uh, How dare they? Yeah. So this is going to fall off, and I'm going to lose that. So um, first thing we're going to do is uh, crater both of them. Let's target the front guy first. Uh, two damage to it, and the far guy next two damage to it, and I'm not going to um, push because I feel like that would ruin your formation. Yeah, um, probably. You could turn this triangle into this triangle. I could turn that triangle into that triangle. That, that... Actually, yeah, actually go ahead and do that because I was planning on moving the room anyway. So... That's cool. Um, yeah. I was honestly thinking about um, healing myself after that. Should I uh, obliterate the trap? I was going to walk through the trap, but you can't... Oh, you have more health. I mean, I don't really care. Yeah, um... um so let me actually look what they are doing. They are going to wound after this. Um, I can take oh, those no, hits. They're, wait, they're, we have to we have to plan for this. They're going to back up for the wound, so we have to plan around this triangle. Let's. Oh let's yeah. Think about this. So how about I just step through their healing potion and? Oh. Can crap. we can we save the triangle because they're going to back up away from me? Is this possible? Let's see. Yeah, that's um, a good point because. No, they, it doesn't they, matter. Ticker goes before them. Who cares? Yeah, we'll I'm going oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Irrelevant. I'm just crazy. So I step up there and take the hit and healing potion. Uh, get rid yeah. of the trap. I flip the potion, and that's my turn. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna use. Let's see, this is one. See, this is a range. Uh, well, you, well, you'd need to move then if you don't have right. a triangle in that spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, no, it's not a problem at all. I have a move. I just uh, I have to make sure I'm doing. Um, yeah, and, and, and model is definitely better than mobilize in this situation. Because I, I think it is. Yep. So I'm going to just use it to bottom for a generic mood too, and I'll move another room here. Uh, and then yeah, we're going to pipe, we're going to pop off ink bomb. Um, so we're going to infuse dark for whatever that's worth. Spellweaver might be able to use that. And then uh, yeah, gain one experience for each target. So I'm going to gain my first three experience of the scenario. I'm going to hit all three targets. Wow. This is going to be a loss. This is going to be attack four. I do not have any way to give myself advantage, sadly. Unfortunately. Um, but we're going to go in worse. So we're going to hit the elite first. So it's going to be attack four. So that's three damage after the shield. The Oh, wait, I'm going to hit the, uh, I'll hit the other elite. We'll do that one next. 
Uh, three more art damage, and then the one on the bottom is a pudding. Turbo <laughs> crit on that. Sure. Oh, and then that's my turn. I'm done. Okay, so two attacks onto this crag cart. These are attacks at minus one, so these are going to be attack three with wound. The Ooh. first one is three, and the second one is a lost card. Okay, yeah. cool. Uh, I take three and gain wound. Go ahead and do that. Um, which card are we not feeling? I think we're feeling like heaving swing's not going to happen, so. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably a fair play. Uh huh. All right, uh, that's my turn. Go ahead, Bruce. Oh, wait, 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 wait. They're muddled. They're both muddled. They're uh, both muddled. True. They're both oh. muddled. Oh, so the first attack oh, stays so... the same. The second attack is actually only two damage. I'm going to draw a heaving ah. swing back, and I'm down to four health and wounded. Yes. Okay, well, I that's a way better. Oh, oh, hey, I take that. My, my context menu. I forgot the context menu. Excellent. Imagine forgetting muddle. What a, what a concept. I, uh, I know. See, this is so good. We do such a All good right, job, guys. So, um, I am going to, uh, well, I have a jump three, uh, with creating wind. And the question is how much money do I want out of this? Yes. <laughs> All of it. You uh, want the money. I think you, can, I think you can afford to greet here. I think you're fine. I maybe we'll see. So I'm going to land there. Right. Cause I can't get any more money anywhere else. That's the best you can pull off. Yeah. That's the best I can pull off. Then top of grab and go, which I love. Uh -huh. It's a heal to self, which just which just clears my poison. I have created wind. Um, and we're gonna get rid of those two, and I'm gonna get uh, this coin also. Nice. Very cool. All right, Thank so you. I'm gonna do my favorite reviving ether trick, which is I'm gonna use reviving ether, but I'm gonna use arcane bolt first, which is a yeah, I love loss. that, and that mm -hmm. lets me recover arcane bolt with reviving ether this is different from blue haven one but I, it's my favorite thing to do uh so this should clear this this bandit scout unless i miss it's an attack five pierce three he's gonna right. he's gonna be similar pudding uh yeah bye bye okay so that's the one with more hit points right nice uh yeah and then i will lose that and i will get back all of my lost cards goodbye reviving right. ether forever hello everything all right. and then which uh what which element are you getting uh, ooh, yeah. Are we we're, are we going into the room next turn? Probably not. Um, I'm need I need some some help. Then I, got you, I don't I got think you. it's I got gonna you. matter. So I'll make you. Oh, you know what? I can I can make fire and waste it for an XP. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Um, I can disarm this guy if we are not feeling confident. Oh yeah, there is or... a guy. I could, I could attack a person. What a... Yeah, you could. I forgot we still have um, someone to work with. Yeah, I can disarm this guy if 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 we're feeling it, um, which might as well. I could also do uh, do an attack, which is nearly guaranteed to kill him. But if uh, you guys got him, I'll just make sure he can't do anything. I'm going to be oh. healing myself and then healing more for the next few rounds. I can distribute okay, cool. the healing. I can. We are going to. It's not going to be my healing. It will be our healing. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Alright, we'll I'm just plan to kill him slowly in case you all mess up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know. All right. I think you are all not gonna mess up. Bruiser yeah, has good. Shield Bash and Warding Strength. Craghart has Opposing Strike and Rumbling Advance. Tinker has Restorative Mist and Harmless Contraption. Spellweaver has Arcane Bolt and Impaling Eruption. Hey, you lost both of those. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? what? Go ahead, Bruiser. All right, so we are going to go with one of those rare, non-loss, hard crowd control effects in the top of wording strength. Oh, you are. So it is just, I am. It's just an attack to dis, but it's a disarm. So hey, plus one. Well, it's not even a disarm. a disarm. It's a death. Yep, and then I have a move two shield one. Um, I don't know how brave I'm getting a coin. Um, does somebody else want to? I'm not moving. You're not moving. Will, if I move, will it mess up your ability to, you know? No, uh, I think the when, thing is range When is two. our plan to go in? That's well, I got a long rest next round, so... So go in, uh, go in not next round, but the round after? Oh, if you go all the so. way up there, that's out of my range. I need you here. Okay, I'll go there. Okay. Right. I can even go here. I need you within range, too. Since the cards are revealed, I can just say the things out loud. All right. <laughs> yep, you sure can. All right. Okay. Heal the brute for four. Uh, oh, thank you. 
Yeah, that's what I do, homie. And then uh, I'm gonna make a. Move hey, uh, could you do me a favor? Because this is only gonna matter for one. Can you heal me for four, and I can heal the brute for six? Sure. So you'll yes. do that instead. So, yeah, so then I'm not gonna. So then I'm not gonna be wounded and take the wound damage then. So then that's gone. So then whatever. And then I'm gonna use move four one two three. I uh, probably shouldn't be near the door. Um, you know, so I can go in the corner and get the money, farm money. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm probably okay to just go and take this loot here. I'm good. I'm fine. All right. Whoop. I got money. Okay, Craggy. All right. Um. Uh, very boring. I'm infusing Earth, uh, Crag, heal four. Or six. You, you mean brute sword? What did I say? You I definitely... Crag. No, I definitely said bruiser. <laughs> I definitely did okay. not misspeak. Yeah, uh, bruiser, heal six. <laughs> Can't imagine okay. making Go. mistakes. Imagine. Right, so, uh, so... Here's what I would like to do. When we when we go in the door, I'm gonna have an awesome turn. If you want to put up your enhancement field, I will be absolutely golden to destroy like 80 percent of the room okay, where okay. Would you that's that's a lot of the room uh uh like here ish this this kind of area okay so i can't put it on an obstacle i have to put it here right or someone have to open the door and i put it on top uh of it's a yeah, yeah you can you can put it you can put it right on the coin that works yeah coin works. i can do that um do you want my, i all need to go fast i'm guessing you're asking me to do it fast okay. right so, uh i mean we're trying to open the door in two turns so if you do it at any right. point in this coming turn then it'll work Okay, so you want me to do it this round? Is what you're saying. Yes, yeah, just have it, have it, have okay, it be there ahead do, of time. I will do the thing you said, and I will. Well, we're not opening the door, but I can. Okay, let me find a good bottom action then, because um, that's a slower initiative. I'm just trying to decide what card I'm losing. I guess yeah. we don't really need. We don't really need too many big moves anymore, do we? Not especially given how small this room is. Yep. Yeah. Um, and that's the last room so yeah I'm gonna be honest with the pace we were going I'm like I feel with an 11 size class 11 hand size I felt like I can add more impact by burning losses no you did the yeah. right thing yeah I reviving ether with like four or five cards left <laughs> we yeah, my, my, my hand size is currently I'm currently chilling at seven for the last room yeah. Mm -hmm. so yeah I feel a little bad that I got uh hammered so hard by those archers because that, no, okay. uh, oh, that was that yeah. was I also want to point out like this is something that I uh, this is kind of a little tangential but I also want to point out that we have looted almost every coin so far oh uh, we've done our job we, 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 that's our job yeah, as mercenaries and I, okay and so, I, I see people I see people online talking about oh it's so hard to loot and things like that and I get it and, and different people are different skill levels but it's, it can certainly be done that's all it, I want to point out I'm not to it, is this a skill level. issue is that what you're trying to say no, that's what you're trying to say, but I'm trying to be nice and be like, you know, it's possible to do this even with plus one difficulty. And I don't consider us to be like the top tier players. Like, I I do dumb stuff all the time, but I just oh, want to point out that like, something to keep in mind while people are watching this. Like, it's uh, possible to kill stuff and loot almost uh, 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 So I was one of the people that has gone through the entire campaign. Now, obviously, there's very, very little I can say about scenarios past what we're showing today. But what I can say is, uh, is at my group, and we're about as good, I would say, about the group that I played is with this group probably about two-thirds of the time we were able to get everything there were definitely some scenarios i can think of three in particular where we looted like two total coins because things <laughs> yeah. went wrong so rapidly that we just had to go into a panic so it does happen on occasion but if you're if you're careful if you're slow and steady you can maintain a constant pace and get the money that you need should we start the round by the way <laughs> let's do it Fine. Our high. Also, part of it is also part of it is also like we're. I think we're working really well together as a team. Like we're communicating, we're asking what each other does, and like, hey, I'm going to poison this person. So if you go after me, it'll do extra damage. So I think that's another one of those things that you know. Just I want to. No, I think you're right. Friendship is magic. That's what it is. Yeah, friendship oh. is magic. Lovely. Really? Um, oh man. All right, I can get in there with a decent amount of shield, but I am. Uh, you know, I, I'm not I, an I, island. I'm actually happy to open the door myself. My turn okay. is such high impact that I'm okay if I die after doing it. I feel like I will have done my I job. have the ultimate fa Oh yeah, we should go over the cards. Uh, Bruiser's long resting, so so lazy. There's like blank cards over here. Can't believe so it. So lazy. Uh, Crag Hearts, kind of Dirt Tornado, and Heaving Swing. Uh, oh yeah, I, I remember that now. Uh, Tinkerer is Jet Propulsion and <laughs> Enhancement Field. 
And Spellweaver is Emberfrost Flame Strike. Go ahead, Spellweaver. Cool. All right, so I'm just going to give a shield to uh, the Bruiser. Doesn't do anything, but I need the ice. <laughs> and I'm going to strengthen myself and loot nothing. Ah, uh, all right. I think I know what's happening next turn. It's going to be a great turn. I'm also going to use my element potion and create fire. What? Uh, <laughs> Two elements? Uh, Can you use both of those elements in the same turn, even? Uh, I, th- I, think I, have, I think I have an idea of what it is. I, it's it's going to be an yeah, exception. Yeah, that's, 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 that's a great turn. That's, that, that's a lot of... Mm-hmm. No, that's that's a good turn. Thank you. Yes, yeah, Sam. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. So as promised, I'm gonna place my enhancement field token. God, that's I gonna would... be so good, huh? Be so I know, good. right? So it doesn't count as an overlay marker, although I still don't think you can... I don't think I can put it in on an obstacle because that's it has to be. Oh, it does say it does say empty hack, so it has to be an yeah, empty hack. Yes. So... But okay. loot tokens are no longer loot target. Loot tokens are do not uh, are still considered empty now. Whereas yeah, previous... Yes, they are. So we, we are totally fine here. So, okay, so I'm gonna put that in my active. And then I'm not gonna use the bottom of Jet Propulsion yet, but I brought it because I wanna use the bottom of that because I love it. Um, so I'm just gonna use it as a generic move too, and just to get closer to the door so that I can help heal people and hang out. So uh, that's gonna be my turn. Yeah. Uh, Spell Waver, oh. um, do you I'll need- be, I'll be exactly in the doorway next turn. Exactly. exactly in the I, I do. Uh-huh. I do need the doorway, but you, you got. You have to trust me. It's going to be worth it. Uh, no, that's fine. I'm just gonna get the coin instead. Fine. Changes nothing. All right. Um, I am gonna be yoloing it into the room. Excellent. I will. Um, I will be going into the room as well. You, made it past, you did not exhaust in the second room. You made it past. I the did. Yeah, there you I go. Did, I, I was worried there. Not gonna lie, I was worried there. Um. So uh, if I didn't really give you I, that shield, it would have been dicey. But it worked. Yeah, it would have been super dicey. Um, so yeah, uh, Sam, about how fast are you going? Do you think? Uh, I am going the uh, on the very quick end. If you try to beat me, you'll beat me. I'm not. If you don't try I'm to not. beat me, you won't. Then I'll probably pop the door myself. Which I I'm, am which I'm not trying to beat you. As as a matter of fact, I plan on dropping two reasonable impact losses into this next room. That sounds great. Yeah, I, so I expect this to be accepted. Who's opening the door in approximately how fast? Me, Spellweaver. Quick, but not crazy quick. Okay. And I, then, t- I took a damage to a short rest, just a heads up. Okay. Bruiser, okay. how fast are you going approximately? Uh, I'm trying to figure out how fast is the Spellweaver going? Uh, not my very fastest, but on my much faster end. Um, yeah, so so try not to beat Spellweaver. Yeah, that's that's the okay. plan is not beat Spellweaver. Um, yeah, that's not. I'm worried about for the Craghart, it should if be you, pretty easy if you to go not your beat very Spellweaver. fastest Craghart, you will beat me. So don't. Yeah, do yeah, that. yeah. That's I the, do, I've already figured that if out. You do, if you do anything else, I think you'll be fine. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Does anyone mind if uh, they take damage? Like just I don't if they um, took damage. I'm feeling great now. Uh, two of you together really, uh, yeah, knock me you out. know. All right, I'm going to go kind of mid. Let's be real here. It's okay. going to be kind of mid. Mid. All right. Bruiser, how fast are you going? This is, this is like super uh, Not super fast. I, I think it'll be after Sam, but I'm sure it will be after Sam. Okay. But I'm going to go on my slower of the two initiatives. Then. My, my, my goal is to go slightly after you because I'm assuming you're going to go in there and do crazy stuff. And I want to, you might take some damage, so I want to heal you. Uh, that yeah that you know what um I'm down with that um right, we'll see what happens I'm this doing okay go ahead all, all right. right let's run it let's go all right perfect perfect perfect, perfect, perfect job everyone uh the bruiser is playing skewer and shield bash the crack yeah, is playing not the way you think I am <laughs> oh crater and unstable upheaval uh, the tinker is playing reinvigorating elixir and gas canister. And Spellweaver is playing uh, this just in, Frost Strike and Icy Blast. How shocking. All right. So this is the turn I've been excited about. So yeah, I, I, first thing we're going to do uh, is we're going to move three into the doorway. And this reveals this teeny tiny room. But I've Oh, it's still pretty, pretty packed. Let me flip I've, cards for the enemy. I've got my advantage. Door. I've got a plus one coming in from the enhancement <laughs> fields. And I've got the ice, so Icy Blast is now an attack four, 
on all four of these enemies with muddle. Oh, that's the great. The archers are doing some weak attacks, and the scouts are doing some poison attacks. So I will probably get a little punished for this, but I think my impact is It's, it's going to be worth it. This is great. I love it. Love, 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 love. So this bandit scout, these are, again, attack four advantages. So that's going to be five, four with the shields. This one, again, five, four with the shields. This elite archer over here. Oh! The <laughs> my life. That was so good. Oh my goodness. Okay, goes down to one health, and this archer takes the four damage. Very good, very good, very good. Love it, love to see it. This worked out spectacularly. I get my two experience. They're all muddled. And that's it, I can exhaust now. Except for that thing, that's not muddled. That's fine. Yeah, well, we don't. We don't talk about her. We don't talk about her. Yeah. <laughs> uh, All right. Okay. It is the bruiser. Okay, so I'm playing. No, the bandit oh, archers. Oh, bandit oh, archers, archers first. Archers, 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 archers go oh, first. Archers go first. So I am taking. It's attack minus one. So it's a two and two ones. The two and the second it one all... are disadvantaged. Yes. So first is two. Then one. And then also one. <laughs> I don't even have to lose a card. Oh my goodness. Very good. Beautiful. Very good. All right. Uh, so uh, yeah, I have a move seven queued up. While it's tempting to get the chest. <laughs> That'd um, <be> awesome. <laughs> yeah, while it's tempting, I can either place myself here or here, and uh, I'm doing an attack force stun on something. Uh, if you place yourself there, you're going to take some damage from me. Also, Spellweaver, you are absolutely losing a card, and it's my bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, how about here? Am I good here? Yes, you are. Okay, so yeah, we're moving seven on that. That's two quick XP. And I know it's a lost card. I wouldn't do this if we weren't at the end. Uh, then attack force stun on that bandit scout. All right, so he takes three damage, but he is stunned. And that card is also two XP and lost. I'm Fantastic job, card. Bruiser. All right, yeah. Tanker. Heck yeah. And I, I, I can't follow any of these acts. I'm, I guess I'm the supporting. I yeah, you, you, you did a lot of well, work with I mean, that enhancement if, field. It was a very big can... deal. If that's you can bad. heal Spellweaver, that's probably good. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Uh, oh, she's also poisoned. Sam, did oh, you take really? that into account? Oh. Who's poisoned? You got poisoned. When did Three I got times. poisoned? When the bandit archers shot you? No, no, no. The, the scouts have the poison this turn. The archers aren't poisoned. Oh, yeah, good point. oh, oh yeah. okay. It was showing up weird yeah. on my screen. <laughs> No, it's because I, I highlighted the uh, I highlighted their stuff. So yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead okay. and heal. Nah, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Four. That saves me a card. That's yeah, a big deal. Moving for four seems. I can. You know, I'm the, I am the tanker. I. Yeah, you're the tankerer. I can do things. I can go ahead and move. I'll go ahead and one, two, three. Um. I'm gonna stand here. I don't think sure. there's meaningful. No, no, I'm gonna. Uh, I think Kragheart's gonna mess you up if you're. Wait, we're yeah. No, you're fine. You're fine. That's Kragheart, that's, that's you, safe. Uh, this is not a safe spot, and I need this this spot. Okay, I'll stand here then. Cool. I'm done, and then the scouts go. Uh oh, you know what though? Well, if you stand see? here, oh no, they just no, they're they're, they're muddled, so they're not moving away. Oh yeah, yeah they're right. not moving so this one is And this one's stunned, so, so this one. Anyway. So we've got a disadvantaged attack for poison on the Bring tinkerer. It. Bring it. Disadvantage hey. breaks down to oh, three and poison. Pretty good. Ain't good no swing. Thing. Ain't no thing. Good swing. All right. Uh, Spellweaver, take one damage. Ow. Um, everything next to me suffers one damage. Oh, well. Uh, nice. Uh, on the land, it's two damage, right? Because uh, the earth. No, I didn't. I didn't have her. Oh no! Oh, that's a shame. That would have yeah. been so good. I know it would have been. And oh, now, uh, okay. it's okay. It's okay. And now, attack three on everything next to me. No <laughs> way! <laughs> That'll do it. Uh, on the guy on the left, the bandit one, bandit two, dead. Uh, <laughs> archer, dead. Uh, bandit, the remaining thing, uh, alive, but at one. Alive, but at one. 
Alive, but at one. All right, this is the last round. I will short rest. I guess it might <sighs> not be not. the last round. We might have a disaster. We this probably is heavy battles. This is when you'd be like, okay, who needs to stay alive for like? Oh, yeah. Um, Are we getting all yeah, this we'll money? Do we have a? Uh, do we, have yeah, a way? I mean, we all have a zillion cards left. Let's loot everything. Yeah, I mean, I don't have a zillion, but I got several. I if we if we need me to loot, I can loot. I'll I'll gonna, I'm gonna plan to be a looter. I think I think that's the right answer. <laughs> all right, nice. doesn't matter. Uh, Bruiser is doing the whatever provoking roar is an eye for an eye. Uh, Craghard is Crushing Grasp and Heaving Swing. Tinker is Stun Shot and Potent Potables. And Spellweaver is Fire Orbs and Flame Strike. Bur mm -hmm. Burninating the, the countryside. Go ahead, Bruiser. Right. All right. Well, uh, since I'm going super fast, I think I'm going to tap my boots and go over there with a the default move. Yeah. Uh, Very nice. And, and then put up uh, Shield and Retaliate for the round. Very nice. Not that I expect it to happen, but you know, if it does, I'm ready for it. You are, you're so ready. Go tanker. Okay, uh, let's see. What are these nerds gonna do? Uh, ring wound thing. It bad. almost guessing, doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say, I'm guessing the elite is gonna die. The crack card uh, should be taking, no, wait, they might be stepping back actually. No, they're stepping back away from you, so it'll be fine. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna say, like, what is the archer gonna actually do? I think uh, it's the archer to go on, they're doing this. Yeah, they're doing like a heavy hit. I feel like the wound is worse, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna stun the archer, or sorry, stun the, stun the scout so nobody gets wounded. Sure. Okay, cool. And, sure. Uh, uh, sure, so I'm gonna do that, discard that, and then I'm, gonna, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and activate the uh, bottom of potent potables. I'm not gonna use it as a generic move, too, because I'm actually probably gonna heal, and I can, now that this is the last room, I can start farming experience and using lost cards, etc. Yep. Yeah. Alright, we're putting that active and I'm done. Alright, uh, Scout is stunned. Go crack heart. Um, remove the poison from uh, Tinker. Um, I don't think I want to create the um, hex obstacle because it's just going to be annoying. I'm going to loot one. So, nice. actually, before I loot one, let's uh, attack three on the bandit. Okay, it's dead. Now I'm going to loot one. <laughs> there you go. That's the So way when to do I it. said, I'll be the looter this round, and everyone said, yep, yep, that sounds good. Uh -huh, yeah, well, yeah. We were lying. I, 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 <laughs> I know I'm the worst. Uh, no, um, Sam, if you want to be the looter, uh, a 69 initiative may be very nice. But it, it's so nice. I tried. I tried to communicate. I, uh, that's that's you, my you, bad. You did. You did, and you communicated well enough that I knew I was going to undercut you. So it worked out. Understood. I know. I'm the worst. I, I'm aware. I guess scenario one is the time to figure out that this is how the party's going to play. <laughs> uh, the bandit scout shoots the tinker right in their face, which is the person that I don't want getting shot because they didn't steal loot. Uh, <laughs> that is four damage. So living with one. The heal no. actually stopping the poison was a big deal there. Hey. Yep. No good deed. And I will fire orbs on this bandit <laughs> archer. Pew! Oh, one health <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, uh, it's dead because enhancement field. Oh, uh, it's dead because enhancement field. That's why. <laughs> I walk and lead it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Excellent ending. Fantastic right. job, everyone. That was wonderful. Um, we yeah, I, that was a uh, pretty good. So, uh, I, I personally think first off, just my initial thoughts. I feel like although the scenario gets a little cramped at times, I feel like because it's smaller, there's no like trying to double back at some points, and there's no like barrier where there's like you know bones and archers. I feel like this is a better like first scenario for new players. I think they're gonna probably get through this a little bit easier. I, I want your guys' thoughts. I well, really like that there's just one type of enemy in the first room and then only one extra type of enemy later on. I think that's really good for people who are first trying to figure out how the monsters work. And I like that there are traps in the first room uh, yeah, and a little bit in the second room because there are a couple of uh, characters in the starters that work really well with traps, specifically uh, all three of the people that aren't me here, the Bruiser, Craig Cart, and Tinker, have some kind of push or pull. So I think it really lines us up really nicely to kind of explore that right away without being too intimidating. Mm -hmm. yeah. My only, my only, if I only have 
Um, my only complaint about this scenario, and it's not even that big a deal, is that there's so much stuff in the first room that at, at a high player count like us, like obviously we took care of it pretty pretty well, but with four with four characters, and if anyone decides they want to summon or anything like that, like uh, with the traps and obstacles, you know, if none of those things are hand, are taken care of, movement options, even with all of the relatively increased mobility of all the classes in Gloomhaven 2, it can be a little frustrating, but um, I don't think it's like game-breakingly bad or, or I don't think it's going to like really make new players angry uh, or any of the returning players angry. That, that, but other than that, like that's like my only minor complaint about the entire scenario. Other than that, I really like it as an an intro, or I guess intro, opening scenario, first scenario. I think new players are really gonna um, uh, like this one, and I totally agree with everything Sam also said. I'll give a bit of a counterpoint to you. I like the first room being kind of full. I think it shows off uh, that traps are important, and it kind of like delays all the scouts. You can be really pretty speedy and really pretty strong from all getting into your face all at once. At plus one, those elite bandit scouts are actually a pretty nasty enemy. Um, they are. I would put them. I would put them honestly as generally more dangerous than a bandit guard, but they do have a couple of dud cards. Where, uh, but I guess guards do too. Uh, but yeah, scouts have a couple of dud cards where they're not going to attack. I think um, one one thing that I really like about this scenario is the way that the first room kind of balances the difficulty because if you compare the bandit scouts from normal over to elite they get plus mm -hmm. one attack for both the normals and for the elites so this room really shouldn't be a concern if people are playing for the first time at the standard difficulty it's very 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 difficult for things to go wrong when they're only hitting for two damage and maybe three but for us three damage and four damage it's such a big spike so i think mm -hmm. i think that's a really smart choice to make this the spike on those enemies that are in the first room. The archers mm -hmm. don't actually get more damage. So when, by the time you've cleared the first room, it's gonna end up being about the same, but putting a little bit of extra pressure on experienced players without threatening the newer ones as much, I like that a lot. <laughs> yeah, honestly, the second, room, the second room is easily the hardest because like, especially for, um, this is something I learned from Frosthaven as well, and it applies to Gloomhaven too as well. Like um, they changed the rule about going invisible in a doorway and obviously invisibility is like really um, nerfed um, some people may know, and I think I can say this, some people will notice that in the Prosperity 1 items, uh, the invisibility cloak is no longer there. Um, and even if it was, yeah. going, invis going invisible in a door, um, doesn't, it doesn't stop, uh, um, it doesn't stop enemies, or I guess grounded enemies like it used to. They will still move through you as though you were not an obstacle, although they still can't end their movement on the hex. Um, the co a coordinated breach into that second room, I mean, I know that's not exactly what we oh. did. <laughs> because we cleared out the, we cleared out the well, hang on, we, we cleared out the first room so fast that we had, it would have been a, a bad idea to waste three turns just setting up mm -hmm. for a quarter breach after everyone uh, yeah. lasted. Um, I, I, burned, I burned so many cards. losses. Yeah, I burned so many I, losses. I still have four cards. I have, I, I still have four non-lost car cards not lost after, I, I thought I was playing very aggressively. Mm -hmm. Oh, without question. Yeah, I kind of YOLO'd uh, that second room, and I know it. I, I knew there was a risk going into it, so... Uh... That's fine. I mean, that's uh, that, to your point, and I think, Bill, you were the one who said this in one of the Discord conversations, that, like, and this applies to kind of to Frosthaven 2, it's, you know, the, the old convention of Gloomhaven 1 was, like, you know, maybe use one lost, other than the Spellweaver, you know, maybe use mm -hmm. one lost card per rest cycle, and you don't really have to stick to that convention. I mean, like, we saw that Cragheart was just going crazy, and did we did just great so I, I i think that's a good design decision where you know again we were playing a plus one difficulty and we kind of went ham a little bit i mean i played a little more conservatively but um i think it was i think it was really awesome that we, you know we don't you don't have to feel like you have to play as safe anymore you can kind of you know give it get pump the gas a little bit sometimes when you need to yeah i i and i appreciate that and i think if we uh did play more conservatively, it would have been okay. But I do think that in oh. general, putting like hitting the gas, as it were, was um, the the right move because we were able to clear. I, I think we communicated well in terms of like and had a, had a good sync of what we were capable of taking out. And I, I felt I feel like that goes a long way. And not all groups are going to have that though. Right. So do we want to do scoreboard like XP loot whatever? Yeah, uh, we can we can brag a little bit. I think that's all right. Fine. All right. Sure. 
Okay. Uh, let's start uh, with the Brizzer. Five coins, uh, the treasure chest, whatever it is. Uh, and uh, only six XP. I could have probably done better on that. But, you know. Very nice. I think I only made like six attacks. So uh, Very few. Yep. I got five coins, no treasure, and nine EXP. Wow! Yep. The burning those lost cards is awesome. Um, yeah, and even with the experience nerf to uh, backup ammo, that still says quite a bit. Huge. Uh huh. Um, yeah, I only got one coin because I was happy to get one. <laughs> I got six <laughs> experience, but I, I want to point out that I, I got all six experience from playing two lost cards, and only two. <laughs> the tinker. <laughs> The Tinkerer and my experience is an XP beast. Because yeah. they get, for the most part, three XP from every loss. There are a couple that are two, that are a couple that are that are like charges or something weird. But for the most part, every single time I've played with Tinkerer, when it's not a scenario like this where it's very short and sweet, the Tinker was able to clear 15 XP very regularly. And I think that's a really cool feature, which is that Tinker is just in, for, in general good at getting XP, will level up very quickly, and you get to see all of their really cool cards. Well, not all of them, of course, but many more than you would for uh, another similar class of, as a starter class in your very first run. I think the Tinker is probably going to get something like 50% more XP than each of the other starters would on average, and, I, and that is an intentional choice, I believe, and I think it's a really cool one. So I, I maxed out my coins. I got six coins. I've won that Pretty one, uh, and I'm happy to get my seven XP here. All right, fantastic. I think ultimately this is a super fun scenario. We are going to be also doing scenario three. So be sure to join us for that. I'll have a link in the description once that's live. And we'll be continuing with these same characters. Uh, I think we're going to like purchase a little bit. Uh, I think we're all going to get like a little item to represent that we've uh, done a little bit of looting throughout the scenarios. And we're going to start it then. So uh, thanks all of you for watching. And we'll see you there. Then we'll see you something. We'll edit this part and make it a little bit more tangible and like fun. <laughs> we'll edit this and post, guys. Honestly, I should leave this like last part in. <laughs> what? We'll edit it in post. I'll give it to Stephanie, and she's gonna put a snarky comment on it, and that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. So, see you guys. Bye bye.